coronavirus or COVID-19, whatever you want to call it, a virus which everyone's talking about, this virus can affect your lungs and your airways, which are the tubes which let oxygen into your lungs. It can lead to symptoms from a mild cold, so your runny nose and your cough, to more serious symptoms like a pneumonia, which is a serious chest infection. What do we actually know about this virus? Well, firstly, we know that it can spread from human to human. We're yet to find out whether it can spread from animals to humans. People with the coronavirus can spread it through coughing and sneezing, and it can take up to 14 days for you to notice some symptoms. Unfortunately, at this point, we don't have a vaccine for this condition, but I don't want you to be alarmed because many cases are being treated just by giving supportive treatment, and by that we mean giving fluids and giving oxygen. The main risk factor for the coronavirus is having traveled to a place which is endemic with this virus, particularly countries like China, South Korea and Iran. How to prevent the spread of coronavirus and try and protect yourself? Let's talk through some of the techniques that you can do. The first precaution which you need to take is knowing how to wash your hands properly. Let's go through the steps. Firstly, you want to begin by wetting your hands under the tap. And then you want to apply some soap into the palm of your hands. Then the next step is to make sure you rub the tips of your fingers into the palms of your hands. Make sure you do this for both hands. You then want to place the palm of one hand on top of the other hand, like so, interlocking your fingers together, then rubbing against each other. Make sure you lather the soap well into your hands and then repeat on the other palm. Now, with both palms facing each other, put your hands together and again, interlocking your fingers, rub your fingers together. You now want to interlock your fingers like so and rub your hands together. Now you want to interlock both your palms together and rub your hands like so. Once you've done this, you want to move on to your wrists. Then move on to your thumb. Now wet your hand again under the tap. Make sure you remove all that soap. And dry your hands first with a napkin or a tissue or a towel. And with that napkin, tissue or towel, make sure you close the tap. So you're not using your hands to close the tap. And it's not enough just washing your hands. You need to make sure that you don't touch your face with unwashed hands, particularly your eyes, your nose and your mouth. Make sure you try and avoid people who are sneezing and coughing because you don't want their germs on you. And if you are coughing and sneezing, make sure that you're sneezing or coughing into a tissue and then you're throwing that tissue away in the bin. These are the symptoms of the coronavirus which you need to be aware of and see your doctor if you have them. Firstly, a fever. Also, a cough, whether it's a dry cough or a wet cough. Also, shortness of breath. Some people may notice that they've got muscle pain all over their body. Some people may notice that they're generally very fatigued and just really tired and exhausted. Some people may also have some less common symptoms with these symptoms. For example, they may notice they have nausea, vomiting, headaches, dizziness, diarrhea or abdominal pain. However, if you do have any of these symptoms, I don't want you to be alarmed. If you are unsure or you have any concerns, just see your doctor. If you feel unwell and you have been in contact with someone who has traveled to an area which is affected by the coronavirus, then you also need to see your doctor. Or if you have traveled to one of those places yourself. Also make sure that you avoid eating any raw meats. And if you're touching them, for example, during cooking, then make sure you wash your hands as we discussed. Will the mask that you find in the shops protect you? The honest answer is not really, because the way that this virus is, it's so small that it actually can get through those masks. A better way of protecting yourself is using alcohol gels, but make sure it's an alcohol gel which has 60% alcohol in it. However, despite there being inconclusive evidence on the benefits of such masks, they can be used to help reduce the spread of droplets if you are coughing or sneezing. Now I hope all that information was useful to you and hopefully you can try and stay protected from this virus. However, it's really important that you stay up to date with the latest information. 
You can get this from the World Health Organization's website. Inshallah, you will stay protected and well. Take care of yourselves.